Windows 11 is officially released on October 5th, 2021. To find out what this means for you, stay tuned. Microsoft just officially announced the release date of Windows 11, and it's October 5th. Well, not for everybody. To see how that date affects you, let's take a look at the official announcement. And if you're interested in figuring out what the new features are for Windows 11, make sure to take a look at my Windows 11 new features video where I cover all those details. And if you don't want to wait till October or even later to get Windows 11, then watch my Get Windows 11 Now video. I'll put links to both of those videos in the description below this video. So let's take a look at what the official announcement actually says. This is the Microsoft Windows blog, and here you can see Windows 11 is available on October 5th. And when you look at the details here, it says, on this day, the free upgrade to Windows 11 will begin rolling out to eligible Windows 10 PCs, and PCs that come preloaded with Windows 11 will start to become available for purchase. So that means that it's still going to be a rollout timeline and you're not necessarily going to be able to get Windows 11 and download it on October 5th unless you're one of the lucky few. So keep that in mind with this official announcement. Come down here a little bit farther and it says some of the highlights of the release. And it also mentions thank you to the Windows Insider community to help build this out. Right here it says, rolling out the free upgrade to Windows 11 in a phased and measured approach. So it starts on October 5th, but will be phased and measured with a focus on quality. And you can see that we expect all eligible devices to be offered the free upgrade to Windows 11 by mid-2022. So you're looking at a time frame six to eight months at least for the full rollout of Windows 11, depending on how they choose to roll that out to existing Windows 10 users. And then they list several PCs that you can purchase that come with Windows 11 from some of the vendors that they've been working with. And as an extra note right down here at the bottom, the Windows 11 upgrade will start to be delivered to qualifying devices beginning on October 5th into 2022, timing varies by device. Now, if you haven't seen the specifications for those requirements, let's click this link right here. And you can see down here the system requirements. They haven't changed from the earlier notifications from Microsoft. So if you were waiting patiently, hoping that Microsoft would lower the requirements so that your older computer would be able to run Windows 11, it's not gonna happen. Microsoft has added a few more 64-bit processors to their list of accepted processors. So some of the older machines have made it into this list, but still, if you have a computer that's older than about four years, you cannot get it to work with Windows 11, most likely. And taking a look at this other Windows blog regarding why Microsoft is choosing to have these minimum requirements, you can see down here the reasons for them. Number one, reliability. Devices that do not meet the system requirements had 52% more kernel mode crashes. Devices that do meet the minimum system requirements had a 99.8% crash-free experience. Also, when it comes to security, it's to combat increasing cyber attacks. And these were informed based on trillions of signals from Microsoft's threat intelligence, as well as input from leading security experts. And for compatibility, people continue to increasingly use their PCs for video conferencing, productivity, and gaming. To ensure all Windows 11 devices can run a core set of applications to meet those needs, we set the minimum system requirements to align with some of the most commonly used apps. So Microsoft is forcing you into a higher level PC with more memory, more processor speed, and higher security in order to meet all of these requirements. It does make sense, but it also makes some people very unhappy because they can't upgrade their current PCs, and that means buying a new one. Microsoft does provide a PC check app on the Windows 11 page, and I'll put a link to this in the description of the video. If you scroll down about two-thirds of the way, you'll see this entry here for check for compatibility, and there'll be a link showing up very soon where you can run the app to check the compatibility of your computer for Windows 11. Microsoft has provided this check app in the preview build, so this is what it's gonna look like once it comes out, and I'm sure it'll be fairly quickly since this is in the beta version right now. You can run a check, 
and it tells you whether or not you meet the PC minimum requirements for Windows 11. Anything that's not checked, you'll be able to determine whether that's something you can upgrade with your current computer or whether it's going to require a new computer in order to run Windows 11. As I mentioned earlier, you can actually get Windows 11 now rather than waiting for the October 5th release date or sometime after that. This can be done by following my Get Windows 11 Now video and I'll put a link in the description of this video along with other links for the various web pages I showed you earlier. The reason why I recommend getting Windows 11 now in the preview is because it is a stable environment and we're very close to the final release date anyway. As long as your PC meets the minimum requirements, there really isn't a reason that you need to wait. And I have confidence in the ability of the Windows preview to work well in your environment. So be sure to check out that video and thanks for watching Sealy Training. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.